Rachel Ellis joins us live this morning from PTI Airport to speak with them before they head off this Monday. Rachel, good morning to you. Devante, good morning. We're joined by a gentleman named Don Prelick this morning who's flying out in just a few hours to the Mayfield, Kentucky area to help out with those emergency efforts um, in, in that location that was devastated by the tornadoes over the weekend. Don, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, you know, first off, what's kind of your plan once you get on the ground later this morning? Well, first of all, once we land in Nashville, we have about a two hour drive to get to where we're going to be opening the shelter at uh, Kentucky Dam State Park. Um, I understand there are cabins and uh, we'll have to start setting up the shelter and um, see what we have in the way of any kind of bedding and other supplies. I'm um, just preparing to have whatever people come in to uh, um, have the shelter, yeah. Right now, what are some of the greatest needs that, that you're expecting? For me, I think it's gonna be compassion. This disaster is going to be a bit different than other disasters I've been to in that it's a mass casualty disaster. So I'm expecting that we're going to come in contact with a lot of people who have potentially lost family members and or friends. That's going to be a bit different than other disasters. And, you know, for people at home who might not be able to go there themselves and, and help out, what can they do uh, from afar to support folks who have been impacted by these tornadoes? I'm sure you can send into the Red Cross and specifically specify that you want it to this particular disaster. Um, certainly that. But anybody who would certainly want to join the Red Cross and participate in uh, events like this, so many, many, many people are needed, and there's many, many different ways that can be helped. And I know we were talking earlier, this isn't the first time that you've been deployed to assist after uh, a disaster. What's it like for you to be able to help out during such a vulnerable time for, for many people? Huh. Well, this will be my third disaster this year, and for me, it's just um, uh, a feeling, uh, a good feeling to be able to assist with others. You hear um, when you listen to the news, you hear about people helping people, neighbors, um, strangers coming in to assist. Um, this is the same thing. We're doing it from afar, coming there to do whatever we can to help the people out. Well, thank you so much. And uh, just to reiterate, if you at home are able to make a financial donation or actually want to give blood yourself, you can uh, visit redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. We'll be back at 630 uh, with more from Don on more of these emergency relief efforts. But for now, we're live at PTI Airport this morning. Rachel Ellis, WXII 12 News. And we certainly appreciate everyone involved heading there to Kentucky. Rachel, thank you.